Hi guys, Rob from Access here. Today I'm joined by Stephen, Game Director on Killzone Shadowfall. Thank you very much for talking to us, Stephen. Now, today you've been showing off multiplayer for the first time. Um, one of the first things you showed was the classes. You've condensed the classes to just three main classes now. Can you give us a quick overview of those three classes and why you took the decision to condense them to down to just three? Sure. Um, well, we have three very distinct classes because we looked at the different playstyles that people use and um, we, we found that kind of the, the three big ones uh, are really kind of the, the, the more stealthy players, the, the ones who like to sneak in from the shadows and uh, kill from a long distance. So that's where the scout class comes in and the type of abilities and weapons that we give to the scout class. Uh, we have the assault guys, uh, which is all about the running gunners. They like to be in the middle of the action, explosions going off, uh, they want shotguns, assault rifles, all that sort of stuff. So we, we give you that class as well. And then we have kind of the team players uh, and the ones that are really in support of the team. And there's different roles that people can take. They're either more offensively uh, oriented or more defensively oriented. So within kind of the support class, you have more breadth and more kind of uh, different, uh, different play styles, if you will. And how is multiplayer changing on PS4? I mean, there was a lot of talk, there's a lot of talk about Warzone, your new mode, and how it, you've got all the guns run locked from the beginning. All of it seems a very geared to giving players what they want from the beginning when they want. Is that how you see multiplayer changing on PS4? Well, certainly for us, it's really important that we, we get to a game that's really easy to jump into uh, and a lot of fun. So rather than, um, whenever you start playing, it needs to, it needs to be fun. So uh, we realize that if, when you're a launch title, a lot of people are going to pick it up at launch, but a lot of people are going to join in after launch as well. So we don't want to get an unfair advantage uh, to those people who joined earlier uh, by kind of locking away all the good stuff and then having people kind of pick it up later. At the same time, uh, what we found is when we're playing the game as developers, we have everything unlocked and we're playing the game. It's a lot of fun and kind of go, why are we locking all of this away? Why should we do that? Because we're enjoying ourselves, so the audience must be enjoying themselves as well. So let's unlock everything from the start. And let's let players then find out what they want to specialize in, what they want to become good at, and kind of see what kind of dominant play strategies come from that. And Killzone 2 and Killzone 3, both when they were released on PS3, raised the bar graphically for, the, for that system. Um, you're, the, you're a launch title on PS4, so the first time you've been a launch title. And um, what, what are the different, and how does that feel? Is that exciting? Does, does that bring added pressure for you guys? It, it's, it's very exciting and very scary at the same time. I mean, um, at one point, kind of you, you get the new hardware and you think sky's the limit and here's all these new things that we can do. Um, but you have to get to grips with it. It's kind of understanding where, which areas are you pushing? What are we doing? So uh, the number of players that you can have online, the, um, uh, the graphical fidelity that you can achieve, the, the resolution, the frame rate, all of that needs to be one comprehensive package. And we're saying, okay, uh, we made one change, for example, that any player can now have a drone with them. And that means that it's not just 24, no, it's 48 entities that you have to kind of juggle. And that was not possible on previous games. Uh, at the same time, the resolution is now 1080p. It's running at 60 frames. It's all doing all of these things. It's kind of, okay, that's a big step up from what we've done in previous games. So it's just, it's a combination of things and you have to find your footing a little bit. So it's it's very exciting and very scary at the same time. And is there going to be any kind of integration between the single player and the multiplayer, for instance? Like, can you use the owl that you can use in single player? Is, is that available in multiplayer at all? Uh, well, the owl that's in single player is a very versatile uh, little droid, and it has all uh, has a wide range of abilities. And each of those abilities is present in um, our multiplayer as well, uh, except that they're tied to specific classes and they're tied to specific kind of drones. So you don't have a versatile, multifunctional tool that does everything, but you have kind of portions of what we have in single player and multiplayer as well. So, and just finally to wrap up, then um, I don't know if you saw the, the Sony press conference last night, but. Shuhei Yoshida opened it by playing Killzone Shadowfall multiplayer over, you know, the, the new PS4 UI. He was watching someone's game, then he joined someone's game. What was that like, seeing that up there, first of all? And what are the kind of logistical challenges of creating something, you know, robust enough for someone to just look at someone's game and quickly join it like that? It's, it's crazy. I mean, it's our third live demo uh, this year, and uh, this one has been Technically and logistically, the most complex one, because uh, it's an online game, so you have to deal with all sorts of network issues. You're gonna go, okay, so we have eight staff in Amsterdam who are joining this game. We need to have a setup at the at the convention center. We need to have something streaming. We need to have streaming footage, and then 
it's actually Shu is going to be playing it. So we have to be really careful and say, okay, we want kind of a, a proper playthrough. How do you how do you get to that stage? So it's us on the phone sh shouting down to Amsterdam, saying, don't shoot Shu, please don't shoot him. Uh, just get kind of some good footage, get some good gameplay, and get some action going. So it's 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 very tricky to do that. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much for speaking to us, Stephen. And if you want to see more Gamescom content, don't forget to check out the videos across the rest of our channel. We've got loads coming up over Gamescom. That is youtube.com forward slash PlayStation Access.